Alright, welcome back to another video. Now, you guys really liked the last tier list. We ranked the top, no, all starting small forwards in the league. That's what we did. And you guys, you really liked that video. So, thank you for the support. And this one, we're going to do, I'm going to do ranking every NBA team by logo. Every NBA team's logo is going to be ranked. So, there's not much explaining here. We got all 30, 30 teams. Right, yeah, 30. No, 32. No. Why am I having a brain fart? Is it 32? I think it's 32. No, it's 30. It's 30. Never mind, it's 30. We have all 30 teams. And we have our ranking S, I think it's for Super. Something like that. Then we got A, B, C, and D, obviously. So, I'm going to rank every single team's logo. And we're going to start with my favorite team, the Miami Heat. I'm going to put them in the B tier. I do like their logo. Their logo is nice. But it's generic, I guess. But I put it in B tier. It's not A tier. It's not S tier. Alright, so for the next team. By the way, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe because I make NBA content every day. Let's start with the D tier. Let's start low and make our way up. So for D, bad logos. I gotta put the Brooklyn Nets. I never liked the Brooklyn Nets logo. I'm not a big fan of their jerseys either. It's just so plain. It's so bland. I don't think there's gonna be many D tier logos because they're actually pretty nice. Another D tier logo is gonna be the Phoenix Suns. The only problem with their logo I see is I don't like that every team has gotten rid of this kind of rectangular shape and just went with the normal logo like the some Sixers had that type of shape around their logo. Um, I'm another team too. I forget which team. Oh, the Blazers had it before. It's just not a good look. It's really not. So they got rid of that. I think if they just get rid of the overall, they just keep that little sun with the basketball in it. I think their logo will be C, maybe B tier. Now I don't actually. I'm gonna put the Pelicans logo also in D. Their logo isn't bad. It's not bad. It's their jerseys are a lot better ever since they put the bigger font. But the, they can do a lot more with their uniform and branding, period. Being in New Orleans, they could do a lot more. Especially the Pelicans, really. That's the name you guys chose. Also, I think this is going to be the last logo in D tier. I'm going to put the Mavericks. Once again, I'm not a big fan of this like shape over here. It kind of reminds me kind of like a soccer logo. I'm just not a fan of it. Let's move up to C tier. C tier. Okay, let's see. What's well, going to be the first one for C tier? I am going to put the Washington Wizards. And once again, very good logo. But I like their secondary logo a lot better. Just so simplistic where it's just the centerpiece, the center ball in it. So, also with C tier, I am going to put the Houston Rockets. Once again, I they really use their secondary logo, which is just the R. And I, they can once again, they can do a lot more with their logo. A lot more with it. It's too simplistic. Too, I don't know how to really explain it. But that's a C tier logo. Also C tier. I'm also going to put the Orlando Magic. It's not too much explaining here. It just doesn't fit. They can once again. They can do so much. The Magic, the colorway. They can do a lot. Go back to the old Magic days. I'm telling you, the teams need to start. Doing like this logo, like the Pistons logos, Raptors, Timberwolves. They need to start doing like that with the circular logo with the ball in the middle. Or just their logo based off of basketball. Stuff like this just doesn't really cut it. Um, I don't think I see any other C tier logos here. Um, maybe the Knicks, but I actually kind of like the Knicks logo. So I'll wait up. Oh, Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies. If this was a jersey list, oh god, the Grizzlies would be F tier. Their, their jerseys are not good. I don't know what they were thinking with their jerseys. But their logo, I like the Grizzly itself. But the font isn't the greatest. But I do like the Grizzly, so that's why it's in C tier. Could be better, but it, it, it's it's not. I'm um, also in C tier. This is probably going to be the last one. I'm going with the Indiana Pacers. They recently just changed their primary logo to this. Which I do like the circular design. But I don't like the way the font is like going around. I like their just the P. I like the logo just like that with just the normal P. But just, I don't. Mm. It's kind of like the opposite of all the other logos. I don't like the circular design on this one. Moving up the B tier with my Miami Heat, I am going to go to join them, the San Antonio Spurs. Now the Spurs are a team that 
they do simplistic right. They're simplistic. It, it's really good. I like damn the Boston Celtics down by 23. Jesus Christ. They do good with their simplicity. It's so nice. I like this way better than their old logo. This is legit just a font. All it is is the word San Antonio Spurs. So it's, I think just, it's beautiful. Also the jerseys, literally all they did was change the font and they made it like 10 times better in my opinion. Also going in B tier, I'm gonna put the Utah Jazz. Same, same thing. All they did was change it from that circular shape to legit just their alternate logo from back then. This, this was their alternate logo. They changed it to the main and it's actually pretty nice. I did like their old logo a bit better, a bit better, but this one's nice and their jerseys are pretty good. Also in B tier, the Chicago Bulls. Iconic logo, and it's it, it's nice. You can't lie. This is a possible A tier, but I'm gonna put it in B. It's just a really clean logo. Atlanta Hawks. The colors, I love the red and white. It's even better when it's gold and white. Gold and black, even pff, even better. I would like if they added like instead of they added a little bit of green to it, that like neon green they have. But other than that, I do like the secondary logo better than the actual full logo where it says Atlanta Hawks basketball. I like it just the Hawk. It looks a bit better to me, but hey. So also going in B tier, we are going to put the New York Knicks. Once again, the colors complement each other very well. I do like the giant basketball at the bottom. <laughs> and the font's actually really nice. I wish their jerseys used like this type of font. Like they had an alternate jersey where it just said the word Knicks in that font. That would look nice, in my opinion. That would look really nice. Going along, I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot in B tier. The Los Angeles Clippers. This is a possible C tier logo. Once again, I don't like anything but this the basketball that says LAC. There's no need for all this down here. There's no need for these little lines. There's no need for the big-ass Clippers font. There's, there's really no need for it. Also, going... Sacramento Kings? Hmm... Do I put the Kings? I'm gonna put the Kings. I'm gonna put the Kings. I was contemplating it in B or A tier. I'm gonna keep it in B tier. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it in B tier. I love their new logo compared to the old one. Their old logo was so bad. It was so bad. This one goes back to the old Kansas City Kings logo, where it was red and blue. This one's just very nice. It has that half basketball at the bottom. It's got the crown and Kings right in the middle. It's just very clean. Also, I'm telling you, this is a lot of B tier. <laughs> a lot of B tier. We are going to go with the Milwaukee Bucks. We're playing right now and actually demolishing the Celtics. Jesus Christ. Once again, colors complement each other very nice. I do like the Buck compared to the old logo. I like the Buck, the way the redesign, how it has the M right in the middle. And it's not the full circular logo like teams like the Washington Wizards and Hawks have. It's kind of like the half circle, like it's on some sort of mantle. A buckhead on a mantle and the font and their jerseys along with that font. Dude, it's so nice. Oh my god, dude. The bucks are up by 25. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Um also we are going to put the Let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll put also put the Celtics. This this is a very close to A tier. I it's just iconic. It's such a nice logo. It's iconic. Alright, let's move to A tier now. A tier, we are going to start off with the Cleveland Cavaliers. The team may suck, but damn, their logo, their new logo, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. When their first, when their new jerseys first came out, I hated them. I did not like them at all. But after a year and getting my own, dude, they're so nice. They're so nice. It's so nice. Same thing with the logo. I love how with the sword going through the middle. I said such a nice logo. Going with the font, it just it resembles Cavaliers. Sharp, strong, you know the team sucks. And we are going to put the Lakers at A because it's such an iconic logo. Colors, beautiful, the basketball in the background, the Lakers, it's, it's just iconic. And this is one of my favorite logos in the NBA, the Toronto Raptors. Not a big fan of their jerseys, but their logo is nice. Even their alternate where it's just a red Raptor with the basketball. I love how the claws go through it. I love the font. All around, just really nice. And the Charlotte Hornets. This is a contemplating C or A. It's I don't think it's B. It's one of these, but I am going to put it in A. A tier. Beautiful colors. Jerseys are gorgeous, but this is logos. I like how the Hornet is. I like how the font's right in the middle. They got the little basketball for the body. 
it just all around very 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 nice my phone shut off very very nice i like how the wings popping out it's got that it's, it's nice the thunder many people might disagree with me on this but the thunder have probably my favorite jerseys in the whole nba i don't know what's about them the white jerseys they have are so clean they're so clean going along with the logo too i don't like the big thunder font on the top there's literally no need for that there's no need for it but their logo it's just so nice i love how the okc is protruding out and it gets like larger it doesn't really resemble thunder much at all really but it when i look at the logo it reminds me of oklahoma oklahoma city even though oklahoma city's not in oklahoma going along with a tier we're going with the golden state warriors this one is, since I'm a Chargers fan, just the colors, once again, they match up so great. They match up so beautiful. And their jerseys, where they have the logo in the center with the number, nice. Once I do like the logo where they have the basketball um, in the background instead of just the plain blue. The basketball in the background is a lot better. Also, you know what? Yeah, we're going to put them in A tier. We're going to put the Portland Trailblazers, Trailblazers, Trailblazers in the A tier. They had an old logo, like I was saying, how it had this little, like, box design, like the Suns, was pretty garbage. But I do like the new, it kind of reminds me of, like, a neon sign, the way they have it. Also, the font's really nice. And last but not least, in the A tier, we are going to have the Philadelphia 76ers, who, are getting, who got spanked by the Raptors. Their logo, once again, I don't like all around. I'm not a big fan of it. It's, not, it's nice with it just full. But their secondary logo, where it's just the basketball, is a lot better. I like the font. It's very unique. I like the little stars and how it's inside the basketball. It's very unique. It's a very unique logo. The colors complement each other very well. And that only leaves three teams left for the last tier. I'm going to start off with the Detroit Pistons. When they first got this logo, I hated it. I hated this logo when they first brought it out. I don't know why. I just really like their old logo, which I still do. Their old logo was just so nice, the way it was. But when they brought, I gave it like a year, and this logo really attached to me. It was, it was really, actually really nice. How they got the old style Pistons, like basketball, but they got the brand new font in the middle from the old logo. And how they had like the gray on the outside. It's also the fonts like more stretched than the old logo. The colors complement each other, very nice. The jerseys didn't change, but they're still also nice. My second favorite logo in the NBA, Denver Nuggets, their secondary logo. This logo, the full logo doesn't get used like at all. It never gets used. I never see this logo. But I do see the centerpiece and compared to their old one, beautiful. God dang beautiful. Such a, the color, I'm not a huge fan of the navy blue. I think if they kept the baby blue, it would look even better. But they do complement each other very well. And I'm not a huge fan of that like maroon color. And that leaves one logo left what I think is the best logo in the NBA and that is the Minnesota Timberwolves if you don't agree with this there is something wrong with you you're probably high this logo is god dang beautiful the uh, secondary logo without the font even with the font it's gorgeous but without the font where it's just the wolf with the basketball background and the little star oh my god it's so nice it's so effing nice I love it I love it so these, this is my rankings. I don't think I'm going to change anything up. I kind of like the way it is. But if, if I were to change anything, I'd probably put the Wizards up. Yeah, I'd probably put the Wizards up. But I'm going to keep at C tier. But that's going to be it for me. If you, like, if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. And I'm probably going to be making more of these videos since they are apparently very popular. And you guys like them. So that's it for me. GG.